long-term testimonials? Yeah. Well, yeah, but we're talking about long-term care. Okay. So, not carrying on. Okay, folks, we are live on Facebook this morning. It is a blustery Saturday morning, beautiful outside. I thank you guys for watching. I know a lot of you are going to be watching. We've got a lot of good stuff to go over with. We're going to talk about the talk, which is coming up on Tuesday. I've got a room full of guests. I'll introduce them to you shortly. So I'm going to plug you into the studio feed. You get the tail end of the last song, and then the beginning of the show will start. This is the voice of the Buckeyes, Paul Keels, here on the action of Ohio State football, right here on WDJO Cincinnati. The following is a paid program. Its views and opinions are not necessarily those of this station or its management. Good morning, and welcome to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour, starring Gary Rosignol of Remax Preferred Group. To be part of the program, dial 513-563-1480 to get your answers to questions about your home and property. That number again, 513-563-1480. Now, here's Gary. Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour. I'm your host, Gary Rosignol, the Rock and Roll Realtor with Remax Preferred Group. And in the next hour, my three guests and I plan to address all types of questions for and about seniors and the families of aging parents. My panel of experts this morning is Cheryl Jeffers, the senior manager of the Mason office of Home Instead. We have Kim Beach, owner agent at Village Insurance in Marymount. And finally is Monica Dwyer, the Vice President and Wealth Advisor at Harvest Financial Advisors in Old Westchester. Welcome, ladies. Thanks for coming down today. Yeah, thank you for having me. All right. We're going to have fun. The show, this show, we encourage you to call and ask questions. Anything about seniors, families of seniors, elders, elder insurance, uh, what do you do first, second, and third? If you have any questions of that nature, call us at 513-563-1480. And don't forget that number, 563-1480, because if you call in, if you haven't won in the last 60 days, you can win a $10 gift card to Starbucks by answering this question. Back in 1967, the first issue of the Rolling Stone magazine was published. Who was on the cover? Who was on the cover of the Rolling, the first issue of the Rolling Stone magazine? Call 513-563-1480, and you will win yourself a $10 gift card to Starbucks. Again, if you haven't won the last 60 days, you are eligible to win that that gift card so there you go cheryl home instead the yes. name gives us a clue of what you do what type of services do you provide and for whom do you provide them home instead senior care is a non-medical um, agency and we provide personal care companionship and home helper services to seniors in their home and we also provide services to seniors in communities so you stay busy. Yes, There's we do. A lot, of, a lot of seniors out there. <laughs> yes, now, there is. When, when my uh, when my mother and father in law <clears throat> were aging, and they, of course, I'm, I'm prime example. I can tune into exactly what we're trying to achieve with the talk. Um, they didn't want to leave their house. They they got married. They bought this house when they got married. They lived there for 50 years. You know, it was a three-bedroom Cape Cod with one bathroom, <laughs> and and they were bound and determined to just stay there. And and so this was, this is probably 15, 20 years ago, we had an in-home care come in. Uh, she was a nurse, and she was supposed to stay there with them, cook and do dishes, and, do, you know, take care of everything for mm-hmm. them. And... Um, we knew she was going to be leaving on Friday to go away for the weekend, so we all planned who was going to be staying with Mom and Dad over the weekend, taking turns. Well, on, on Wednesday afternoon, Dad calls and says, Your mom fell in the bathroom. I can't pick her up. He says, Well, where's the nurse? He says, Well, she got in a taxi cab today and left. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. 
So the quality of in-home care has changed since then, right? It has changed. And at Home Instead Senior Care, um, we provide the training for the caregivers. So we have a nurse that does all of our training. We provide home health training, CPR training. Um, We also have the caregiver shadow a seasoned caregiver out in the field. Um, So we provide all of that with ongoing annual training also. Yes, yeah, so it has come a long way from 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You called me about six months ago, I think it was, and you had this idea to put a panel of experts together to invite the families of aging parents to come in and ask us questions. And uh, the panel we ended up with was, of course, you, and uh, we have uh, Kim Beach with Village Insurance and Monica with Harvest Financial we also have uh, Tara Jones, who's a, a elder law attorney, and Jackie Denny with Everything But the House, and Jack Brendamore with Junk King, and Larry Pete with KBC Remodeling, who is stay at home, uh, stay in place certified. Uh, great panel of experts. Yeah, so my partner, Suzanne, Brian, and I were sitting down and talking about our challenges when we do a consultation with the family in the home. And the the daughters and the sons of the aging parents always have all kinds of questions. How do we downsize? How does long-term care insurance work? Um, how does estate planning work? We need to get rid of all this stuff. How do we get rid of it? So we came up with this idea to get a panel of experts together that could be a resource just to address those questions. So we travel every month. It's the first Tuesday of the month, although this tu- this time it's November yeah. 12th because of Election Day. So, right. um, But it's the first Tuesday of every month. It's just a question and answer panel. So we start um, the audience out with a list of questions and to kind of get the conversation started. Um, and then we open it up to the floor and we have conversations. And some of those conversations can be very difficult. Um, So at the end of our open session, we have all of our panel experts go to their own table, and we invite our audience to go and meet with the expert one-on-one for those individual tough conversation questions. Mm -hmm. And that works. Yes, yes. (sighs) Our last panel was great. I know you had a great experience with helping out a family. Um, And this family, particular family, got very connected. And um, yeah, yeah, so we just want to be a resource to um, the families of the aging parents or even the aging parents to help navigate that process. Um, and the big the big buzz now is to age in place. And mm-hmm. Home Instead Senior Care, along with this panel of experts, can certainly help the aging parents age in place. Yeah. The, 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 the family that I helped, uh, they came to me and they said, uh, we've got a little dilemma. I don't know if you can help us, but my mom just uh, called us last week and informed us that so she's moving from Delaware down to Westchester, mm-hmm. <laughs> moving in with mm-hmm. us. She's 80 years old. She can't do steps very well. We got a two-story house. What do we do? Mm-hmm. And and I, I the first question I asked was it was her mother, and I asked him, Joe. I says, "What's your relationship with like with your mother-in-law? Is it a good?" He says, "Oh yeah, we we love each." Other. I says, "Good. It's all downhill from here because <laughs> if mom-in-law is going to be moving in and you don't get along, they ain't going to work." Mm-hmm. But it, it worked out, and we we found them a ranch that that they fell in love with. And and we closed on it, and uh, Tara Jones took care of all the closing information and all that. So she was terrific. They, When they clear out their house that they're living in now, they have a lot of stuff that they need to get rid of. So Jack Brendamore at, at Junk King is going to get a call. And that's what this panel of experts is about, is about helping them solve their problem. Mm-hmm. And I was so grateful to be there to help them. Now... November is National Caregiver Month. It is. I want to touch on that because this yeah. is this is something I didn't know about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so November is National Caregiver Month, and it's a time when we really remember the people who lovingly give those baths to the seniors, clean houses, shop for and comfort millions of elderly ill and people um, who are friends and loved ones. So this is a time, this is the month that we honor them. Um, Caregivers need care too. 
Um, being a caregiver is a very difficult job. Um, so it's very important that we recognize those caregivers and we give them the opportunity to take care of themselves. Um, so that's re- whether we give them a relief to take an hour to run to the grocery or maybe get their nails done or their hair done, something that's special to them that gives them Just that get break. away. Yeah, take a breather. You need yeah. to get away. Right. Yes, right. yes. I got my latest issue of AARP and they talk about about that. You know, in Ohio, family caregivers provide $16.8 billion worth of care every year. There's mm-hmm. 1.2 billion hours of care each year. Yes. By yes. Care, it's an mm-hmm. unbelievable statistics, mm-hmm. which is great. It I mean, is. I mean, it is. They and say, we're not putting mom and dad in a nursing home. Mm-hmm. And there's many, many families out there that between all of the siblings are taking care of that loved one. And sometimes that relief is not there for those siblings. Sibling. So that's where a home instead senior care caregiver can come in and help even the caregivers okay. to get some respite to help mom or dad, grandma, grandpa. Right. So, gotcha. Gotcha. Yes. So the, the talk that we have planned is this coming Tuesday yes, and it's at the Triple Creek Retirement Community on Pippin Road. Uh, Everything starts at six o'clock. There'll be some light munchies to Mm -hmm. talk and some drinks and um, there's going to be all of us in the panel. Jack may or may not be there. I know. I heard. New twins. I know. Congratulations, Jack. (laughs) I think it was Thursday. Was it? Okay. Yeah. yeah, Thursday. They had twin daughters. Oh, yeah. So he or may not may. Okay. But but he'll have somebody there for him. Yeah. He will. uh, Yep. And it is at Triple Creek. Great community. Come out and see the community. They'll be providing tours um, after the talk. So if you're interested in seeing the community, they will have um, representatives there to help you out with that. Um, and then also, um, everything but the house. Oh, if yeah. If you want to bring an item, that was great last time. Bring an item. Um, Jackie Denny will look at that item and evaluate it and tell you how much it's worth. And last time, there was plenty of surprises yeah. out there. So, yeah, so the bring that special that, item. Yeah, the beauty of that is uh, families that have lived in their home for 30, 40, 50 years have probably inherited stuff that was handed down to them from previous families Absolutely. and they don't know that they mm-hmm. have a piece of very expensive artwork uh, plates bowls prints mm-hmm. it could be junk but it could be worth hundreds maybe thousands of dollars and jackie knows her stuff she does and kara who's our client care consultant in our office brought a piece from her mother-in-law and it was a vase and surprisingly it was worth fifteen hundred dollars wow so and kara was pleasantly surprised and so was her mother-in-law so yeah. yes bring that item it's a lot of fun um yeah get that great news yeah yeah this is cheryl jeffers she's uh in charge Charge of Home Instead and Mason, 513-701-3141. If you have any questions this week, call her. This Monday is Veterans Day. We recognize all the everyday heroes who have served their country in uniform in all the nations. No matter where or when they served, on this Veteran Day, we honor those who stepped up and sacrificed for family, freedom, and faith. May God bless them, even as we thank them. After our break, we're going to have a moment with Miles, and then Kim Beach, owner of Village Insurance, will talk about long-term care and common reasons people need it. You're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour on the flagship station for FC Cincinnati Soccer on WDJO, 1480 AM, now FM 995 and 107.9. Why rent when you can own with no money down? If you're looking to become a first-time homeowner in the Cincinnati or northern Kentucky areas, or heck, even if you haven't owned a home in the past three years and are now looking to buy, you may be eligible to receive up to $15,000 in homeowner's assistance towards closing costs, pre-closing expenses, or even your whole down payment. That's right. You can own your own home with no money down. Find out if you qualify. Call Gary at 513-777-2402. That's Gary at 513-777-2402. Get ready, because here they come. One, two, three, five. It's Beena. It's Beena Mania. Facebook fans, Richard Cox just sent me a message that the uh, Kiwanis Pancake Day is today from 7 to 1. 
at the middle school. I guess that's in Mason. So um, if you if you want to have some great pancakes and help a good organization, go and say hi to Richard Cox. I'm sure he'll be there. Um, anyhow, stay with us. Uh, we've got. Um, we have, we have Kim Beach coming up next, and this is going to be some more really good stuff. Five dollars per dose. Give us a call at 859-431-2857 to find out more. Safe Discount Drugs can help you in other ways, too. If you are uninsured or have high deductible insurance, Safe Discount Drugs offers everyday low pricing on all of our medications, not just a few that are on the list. We even offer select antibiotics for just $1. So call us at 859-431-2857 to see how you can save time and money at Safe Discount Drugs. We have free parking behind the store with a convenient back entrance. Safe Discount Drugs is located four doors north of the Madison Theater at 716 Madison Avenue in downtown Covington. That's Safe Discount Drugs, 859-431-2857, or check us out online at savediscountdrugs.com. Have you taken the time to enjoy the taste of the Big Easy right here in the Natty? Why, I'm talking about Brew River Creole Kitchen. Brew River is this area's home for authentic, locally sourced, made-from-scratch Cajun and Creole cuisine. Under the tutelage of Ember Lagasse, Chef Michael Shields has learned the secrets of genuine Creole cooking and prepares it nightly every Tuesday through Saturday, along with a Southern-style brunch every Saturday and Sunday. And at Brew River Creole Kitchen... You can plan on a side helping of live music, featuring selections from blues and jazz to standards and ragtime. Try the new Brew River Summer Menu selections, including Chef Michael's Jambalaya, Oysters Rockefeller, Mufaladas, and Fried Green Tomatoes with Creole Shrimp. Brew River Creole Kitchen is easy to find on Easton Avenue, just off Columbia Parkway in the Beachmont Levee, at the location of the former Bella Luna, and on the web at Brew River Creole kitchen.com. Brew River Creole Kitchen, a taste of knowledge here in the Natty. Hey, thanks for staying with us. I know you won't regret it. I'm your host, Gary Rosignol with Remax Preferred Group, better known as Cincinnati's Rock and Roll Realtor. I need your headphones. And now, the moment we have been waiting for, this is the captain of our ship, Mr. Miles Beersford, and his prophetic moment with Miles. Good morning, Miles. Hey, Gary. Rock and roll, my friend. Realtor Magazine reports in October that... While low mortgage rates have made it cheaper to buy a home, finding the right property remains a challenge for home buyers. Mm -hmm. Would-be buyers are finding that a worsening inventory shortage is heating up competition in the housing market this fall. Driven by the tailwind of sub-4% mortgage rates, the steady demand for housing is drying market inventory at an accelerating pace. Inventory nationwide fell by 6.9% year over year in October, Realtor.com reports. That equates to a loss of 98,000 listings compared to a year ago. Meanwhile, the median list price was $312,000, which is a 4.3% annual increase. And that's this morning's Moment with Miles. Oh, thank you, Miles. That is so on target because, tell you what, we have buyers looking, and there's just not enough houses out there for buyers. So if you're thinking about selling your house and you're going to wait till spring, don't do that. That's going to cost you hundreds or thousands of dollars because everybody and their brother is going to go on the market, and the market will change from being a seller market to a buyer market, which will save buyers but will cost you the seller. So let's Let's give them a good Christmas present. Call me, 513-777-2402, and I'll be happy to talk to you about the value of your home. And let's get that on the market and get it sold before Christmas for you. We can do that. Later in the show, we're going to talk with Rhea Davidson with the Dragonfly Foundation. We've got a lot of regular listeners each week. I'm so happy and grateful for each one of you. Keep telling your friends to tune in. Like us on Facebook, too. And a special hi to Carol from South Lebanon, Royston Loars, Gary Rasmussen, Nathan and Charity, who are listening or watching on Facebook. Thank you. And the many, many, many more. Uh, 
the first issue of Rolling Stone magazine rolled out on this day in 1967. Who was on the cover? 513-563-1480. Answer that question. Get yourself a $10 gift card to Starbucks. Next, I have Kim Beach. You are the owner and the agent with Village Insurance in Marymont. That's correct. Really close. It's, it's not it's Mary. Mar- no, it's Marymont. Mar- correct. I know from, it's spelled Marymont, but it's it's named after Mary Emery. If you're from there, you know it's Marymont. You got it. But yeah. if you're not from there, you call <laughs> it Marymont. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Village Insurance, you specialize in long-term care, and you are like perfect for this panel of experts. <laughs> yes. Thanks a lot, Gary. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. Um, Village Insurance is actually an independent insurance agency, and we do auto, home, business, and life insurance, and obviously part of that is also long-term care insurance. So, yeah, um, and and you say I'm perfect for it because I'm also kind of at a perfect age. Um, I'm 50... Seven? I don't know. I don't know. How old am I now? 57, I think? No, you don't look a day over 45. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. Um, but yeah, so, you know, this is a great time. I mean, this is kind of the time when, you you know, you start dealing with parents having issues, mm-hmm. you know, and start thinking about, okay, well, you know, this is what they're facing, and if they don't have long-term care insurance, you know, what, what options do I have at this age? Long-term care is different than family caregivers. Well... Um, family caregivers obviously do, I mean, handle long-term care. You know, I think Cheryl, themselves, right. yeah, Cheryl was mentioning, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, do, you know, do long-term care. I mean, you know, they, they perform long-term care, you know, needs. I mean, long-term care is really custodial care mm-hmm. for when, you know, when you can't do two things. Um, they're called um, activities of daily living. There's six of them. Bathing, eating, dressing. There's continence, transfer. So moving from a bed to a wheelchair or, you know, bed to a car and then also toilet toileting. So, you know, just um, brushing your teeth kind of thing. So mm-hmm. these are just like the simple daily tasks that at some point, you know, because of an illness or an injury that you can't perform and you need help. So that's where long term care comes in. What are the most common reasons people need long term care? Well, as, as I mentioned, either illness or injury. So you, you come down with cancer, you know, and you're mm. bedridden or you get in a car accident, you know. So some people think, oh, it's all nursing home care. But it's not because, you know, as Cheryl mentioned, everybody wants to age in place. I mean, mm-hmm. they prefer to stay at home. And most long-term care starts out as home health care. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it starts as home health care and then it, you know, might evolve to assisted living or then a nursing home. Because only about 16 percent of people end up in a nursing home. Right. So I think that's a big fear of people is like, oh, I don't want to end up in a nursing home. But obviously by planning with long-term care insurance, you can avoid that. You can decide, you know, you have the control of where you yeah. go or don't go. This is just me interjecting, but the, the term nursing home sign, I, I tend to call it retirement Right, home, yeah. right. Yeah, and obviously there's a lot of different, you know, kind of kinds of nursing homes now. There's assisted living where people just go and have kind of a continuum of care there. You know, when they mm-hmm. go in, at first they may need no care. Right. And then, you know, it could escalate to medical care. Mm-hmm. And there's some fabulous facilities out there, there are, now. Yeah. There really are. And, and they're they're growing, you know, every day because the, the baby boomers are now aging and needing those places. So right. it's going to be kind of a supply and demand issue. Yeah, yeah. So. As I mentioned, my, my parents-in-law, of course, after that little ordeal with uh, mm-hmm. the in, in-home care that didn't work out, right. we uh, ended up introducing them to a retirement place. And right. As it turns out, uh, my father-in-law ended up with dementia, which mm-hmm. turned into Alzheimer's. And they had a special place that had, had that had the the mm-hmm. hallway that never ended yeah, yeah and and that was perfect because they said they can walk and right. walk. they don't get to a wall and that's yeah. when they get in the anger stage of alzheimer's yeah. they, they'll beat the wall down yeah they, and that brings up another good point too you have these activities of daily living but you also have cognitive impairment mm-hmm. which is another trigger for long-term care right so with your dementia or you know that right that sort of thing. 513-563-1480 if you have a question for us please feel free and call us. So, so Kim, there's got to be a, a huge cost involved in long-term care. 
Well, there's a lot of different plans, and and I think what I tell people is you can't you can't insure 100 percent of the cost of it. I mean, and I'm sure Cheryl knows these numbers too. But now, probably in Ohio, um, monthly average is probably around seven to eight thousand dollars for healthcare per uh, for, person. Yeah, for long term yeah. care. So you you can see that it, you know it adds up pretty quickly, and that depends. I mean, home health care you know could be a couple thousand dollars a month easily, and you know, and then it, you start getting into nursing care and medical care, it gets a lot more expensive um but you know if you plan now you know because because right now like like i said i'm 57 so and you normally go on claim around age 80 that's kind of the average Mm -hmm. you know so i've got 23 you know i've got time to you know to save and you know let that money go to work for me in an insurance and insurance basically you're transferring the risk you know if i don't take if i don't get long-term care insurance then i'm gonna have to pay a hundred percent of whatever my my long-term care costs so, so how does yeah. the long-term care insurance work? I mean, do you, yeah. it, it, can can you just take like ten or fifteen percent of your income and put it in the savings and yeah. let so it build up? There's or? a couple of different kind of products out there. So there's traditional long-term care insurance, which is just like health insurance. You pay you know a monthly annual annual cost, and then it covers you know x amount of you know of benefit basically per month once you go on claim. But there's also new hybrid products out there. that are called asset based long-term care insurance. And so basically they're long they're life insurance products with a long-term care rider. Mm-hmm. So if it, basically you have a benefit if you it's per month once you go on claim. But there's also new hybrid products out there. They're called asset-based long-term care insurance. And so basically they're long they're life insurance products with a long-term care rider. Mm-hmm. So if it, basically you have a benefit if you if you don't use the insurance then your beneficiaries get a life insurance benefit. Okay. So and so you you know so let's I'll just give you an example of myself again. Um, I bought a a hybrid product. Um, it's Lincoln Money Guard, and I'm basically spending five thousand dollars a year for ten years. Um, and the premiums won't go up, so those are guaranteed. So mm-hmm. I'm investing fifty thousand dollars, and at let's say age twenty years from now, um, twenty years from now, I will have a bucket of money of about three hundred fifty thousand dollars. So that's you know just you know time and money working for mm-hmm. me, and you know they're investing my money, and then you know on a monthly basis, I'll probably have a benefit of about five thousand dollars to start. Mm-hmm. So you can see that it, you know it's not going to take care of eight thousand dollars. Of, of a cost, but I do have you know partly yeah. covered. Yeah. So so it's not as it's it's not as expensive as you think. I mean, when you think about how much you might spend eventually, right? So. There are some government programs that help seniors when you get to that point, right? Well, that would be Medicaid. So okay. yeah, so some people think Medicare is going to cover long term no, care. No, no it will not. <laughs> um, so Medicaid only comes in though if you're if you you know if you don't have any assets, you basically have to spend down to about two thousand dollars of assets. And I think so. Kentucky. Just just changed their laws, haven't they? Um, I don't. I don't. I don't have license in Kentucky, okay, so right. I can't help you in Kentucky, people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Being licensed in Kentucky, yeah. I, I did hear through the grapevine that there are no. Um, you don't have to liquidate all your assets. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And well, and obviously, an estate attorney can kind of help you right. with that. They try and yeah, get some right. of your assets out of your. So there's two important questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, you may never need care, but if you did. How would you? How would that affect your family? Right, and there's obviously several important considerations there because you know Cheryl mentioned that family members kind of come together and try and create their own plan, but you know that that never. I mean, that's hard because all siblings, you know, cannot contribute a hundred, you know, equally, right. and that causes problems among siblings. Obviously, mm. there's also money involved, so that causes problems among, among siblings. So it, it really is hard for a family when you put that burden on them. Um, so you know, just family dynamics change. I mean, the informal care, is, you know, like I said, is more is normally shared, but not shared equally, and mm-hmm. that causes that causes you know a lot of riff in, in families. Um, and then if you do need care, how will you pay for it? Right. And so that's where you come in. Yeah. And you mentioned, you know, there's government programs, Medicaid, but you have to spend down. There's long-term care insurance, which is always, you know, a great option. Um, and there's also self-funding. So if you have enough money, if you have $5 million, let's say, you know, in assets, then... You can live for yeah, a long you can, time. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can probably cover your care, but obviously you're also not, you know, you're spending down, <clears throat> excuse me, your inheritance possibly, mm-hmm, you know, right. any kind of money that you want to give yeah. away. So... 
That's Kim Beach with Village Insurance in Marymount. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> uh, 513-831-0179. If you have any questions for her, call her this week. She'll be happy to take your questions. Yes, sir. Or stop out at the talk at 6 o'clock at Triple Creek Retirement Community at uh, 11230 Pippin Road. Don't touch that dial. Stay tuned after these messages for my music history. And then Monica Dwyer with Harvest Financial Advisors will help us about what to consider as one ages in terms of our finances. You're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour on the flagship station for FC Cincinnati Soccer, WDJO 1480 AM, now FM 995 and 1079. Bring in the new year with the Vandals. The nation's number one rock and roll oldies review is back with a spectacular New Year's Eve party just for you. Hold me, hold me. Join Stacy, Duke Todd, Mark Barnett, and Steve Moosericks, along with returning Vandell's favorites, Dave Chumley Brumley and Jeff Carmack, as they start 2020 with a great oldies you love. Open up your eyes, then you'll realize, here I stand with my sit around this New Year's Eve. Join the Vandells at the Lawrenceburg Event Center. It's just two minutes from the Hollywood Casino in Lawrenceburg. For tickets and information, call toll-free at 866-936-7510. That's 866-936-7510. Tickets start at just $59. For dinner and show packages, start at just $94. Call your friends and bring them along for the party of the year with the Vandells. 866-936-7510. I'm John Englehart, mortgage loan officer with Huntington. Are you a renter, tired of paying somebody else's mortgage and have nothing to show for it, think you can't buy a home? How do you know? One way to find out is to talk with me. At Huntington, we do free pre-approval so you'll find out what you can afford and what steps you'll want to take next. Call me at 859-342-2512. That's 859-342-2512. NMLS number 532226. The Huntington National Bank is an equal housing lender member FDIC. Randomly, people will say, you have a very pretty smile. People I don't even know. It's helped me to build my confidence in my smile. Not that I didn't lack the confidence before, but I didn't realize how much confidence I was lacking. When it comes to cosmetic dentistry, Dr. Peck is at the top of his class. For your own beautiful new smile, call Dr. Fred Peck at 513-621-7666 or visit PeckSmiles.com. I am Bonnie Summy, and I love my new smile. I love it. Liberty Mutual. Mutual Insurance Company presents And Doug You two, my office, now ah. Limo, Limo, Doug You're being transferred across town Oh, because they haven't heard that Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance So you only pay for what you need No, it's because Limo keeps eating the chips on Janine's desk And her keyboard, and her expense reports, and her stress balls and her- Liberty, 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 Liberty Only pay for what you need at LibertyMutual.com Cincinnati's Oldies Network, WDJO, and Omar are proud to present the music of the greatest entertainer of all time, Elvis Presley. Bright light said it gonna the Elvis my... Tribute Artist Spectacular Special 2020 Birthday Edition returns to the Aronoff Saturday, February 29th, featuring Sean Clush, Cody Ray Slaughter, and Ryan Pelton. Special guests include the Blackwood Quartet and the Fabulous Ambassadors Band. Don't wait. Tickets on sale now at CincinnatiArts.org or visit ETA Spectacular. It's time for my music history. So here's what happened today back in 1958. Elvis Presley's Hound Dog exceeded 3 million copies sold in the USA, becoming only the third single to do so. Ben Crosby's White Christmas and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer by Gene Autry being the other two. Today in 1966, John Lennon met Yoko Ono for the first time when he visited her art museum, art exhibit, exhibition, Unfinished Paintings and Objects at the Indica Gallery in London. It was love at first sight. Today in 1967, the first issue of Rolling Stone magazine was published in San Francisco. It featured a photo of John Lennon on the cover, dressed in army fatigues while acting in his recent film, How I Won the War. And one of the first issues offered a free clip device called a roach clip for any paid subscriptions. Hmm. 
Magazines. The name of the magazine was compiled from three significant sources. The Muddy Waters song, the first rock and roll reco- record by Bob Dylan, and the Rolling Stones. Actually, they went with Rolling Stone magazine. Gray hair daddy. Today in 1968, Led Zeppelin played their first ever London show when they appeared at the Roadhouse Chalk Farm on the same bill as John Lee Hooker, Deviates, John James, and Tyrese. Zeppelin singer Robert Plant married his girlfriend Maureen in London on this day, and guess what? They held the reception at the gig. The life of a musician. <laughs> Today in 1969, Simon and Garfunkel record, record what would become their signature tune, Bridge Over Troubled Water, with future member of Bread, Larry Knuckle, on piano. Art wanted Paul to sing the song, but Paul insisted that Art's voice was better suited for it. Well, it was a decision that Paul would later say he regretted. The song won five awards at the 13th Annual Grammy Award in 1971, including Grammy Award for Record of the Year and Song of the Year. Today in 1974, Bachman Turner Overdrive went to number one on the U.S. Singles Chart with You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet. Randy Bachman stuttered through the lyrics on the demo recording as a private joke about his brother Gary, who had a speech impediment. The record company liked the take better than the non-stammering version, and they released that. Lo and behold, got a hit record. Today in 2016, David Bowie's retrospective show at the Victoria and Albert Museum had enjoyed so much foot traffic, it was now officially the most successful touring exhibition in the cultural institution's 164-year history. According to the Victory and Albert Museum, over half a million people had visited David Bowie. Is in sites across the globe, including 312,000 visitors who saw the exhibition in London back in 2013. Born on this day in 1937, American musician Tom Fogarty, best known as the rhythm guitarist for Creedence Clearwater Revival, who scored the 1969 U.S. number two single, Bad Moon Rising, everybody says bathroom on the right, (laughs) and the 1970 U.S. number one album, Cosmos Factory. The band has sold 26 million albums in the United States alone. Fogarty, of course, passed away on September 6th in 1990, and I hope you had as much fun about these facts of music history as I I did researching and bringing it to you today. I'm called the Rock and Roll Realtor because I play with the greatest classic rock band, Bluestone Ivory. You can hear us live as we try to give back to our veterans at the VFW Hall in Sharonville on November 30th. That's for them, folks. So come out and enjoy, join us. Of course, our New Year's Eve gala at the Marriott Cincinnati North. Reservation is uh, online at bluestoneivory.com. If you register, you have a chance to win a package for our New Year's Eve gala. Say hi, I do, happy anniversary, happy birthday, etc. with flowers. Call Let's Flowers at 513-921-0561. They really deliver. Monica Dwyer. Harvest Financial Advisors, 513-779-3030. You are in Old Westchester. That's right. What a beautiful building right there on the corner of uh, Cincinnati Dayton Road yeah. and uh, Le- Westchester Swordsville Road. Right, and we're building a new building next to the Village Spa, which isn't far away. An additional, or are you going to be moving? Well, we'll be moving oh, okay. once it's built. Gotcha. Yeah, It'll I remember take about when, a year. I remember the building you were in was a little coffee shop. It was. Yeah, yeah we still have the, the coffee bean uh, wallpaper on the wall. Do you? It's wow. very cute. 
So what are some of the things to consider as one ages in terms of their finances? That's a big question. It is a big question. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Next to their health, that's got to be the biggest question concern. Well, the finances kind of drive the security for the household, right? So mm-hmm. that's very important. So I think there are a lot of things to consider. One is, you know, how conservative or aggressive are you with your portfolio? Is it time to maybe step back and take a look at, you know, how aggressive you are and and maybe pull that back a little bit um, to be more secure? Um, The other thing that you want to consider as people age, uh, sometimes their decision making um, becomes hampered. And Mm. so, uh, unfortunately, there's no law in the United States that... um, you know, that, that says that we can't spend money frivolously or that we can't make mm. bad decisions. So I know that's something that children struggle with, yeah. you know, with their parents. Um, so one thing you might also want to consider is uh, making sure that all of your documents and things like that, like your financial power of attorney is extremely yeah. important, um, that that's in place before anything does happen so that if there is some kind of a, a cognitive decline, um, that that financial power of attorney is already in place and the person can step in without having to go back to court, um, to, which is much harder, more expensive and, and just a hassle. Yeah. I've got a friend of mine and his father is aging and mm-hmm. he still drives. Yeah. And he still goes to the gaming places uh-huh. and spends a lot of oh. money there. He says, how do I stop my dad? <laughs> says, there's nothing you can really do about that. Unfortunately, you know? there's not. And I've I've seen situations where people will give money away to people that are, you know, frauding them out of the money. Mm-hmm. Um, and they, they really don't... Um, they don't believe that they're that, yeah. that it's a fraud situation, and um, they really trust that person, and so Seniors it can be a very sad. Yeah. They really are, and it's and it's a shame that it is that way. But um, it's important to make those decisions about how you want to spend your money early on, mm-hmm. and have someone there that you really trust. You know, maybe a child or um, a trusted friend that can step in and and be kind of that that person who keeps you on the right path and tells you the cold hard truth if you right. need to hear it now i know you're not an attorney no but but we work with tara jones with um with jones and robinson robinson right <laughs> and uh robinson and jones actually yeah it's her dad and her uh so what are some uh pitfalls to creating wills and trusts with their attorneys and then not following through after doing so Right. So TAR performs a really important function, which is creating all the documentation that you need um, to make sure that things are smooth sailing. Um, what people forget or fail to do is either A, they they fail to put those trusts as either beneficiaries or retitle their assets in trust, mm-hmm. um, or B, you know, sometimes they, they don't really store those in the right place or review them later to make sure that they're still viable and that the law hasn't changed. So you want to get your trusts reviewed maybe once every three to five years. Or more. Um, and also, make, yeah. Right. Yeah. Make sure that you, you know, that the people that you've assigned in your trust to take care of things when you're not here anymore, um, that those people are still the ones that, that you trust to do that. Right, right. Yeah. So uh, at, the, uh, at the talk this Tuesday, which begins at 6 o'clock, and we wrap things up promptly at 7.30, because mm-hmm. we don't want to keep you all evening. <laughs> um, some of our parents need to get home to their TV and, and bed. <laughs> uh, it's a Triple Creek Retirement Community, uh, 11 30 Pippin Road, and there will be some refreshments there. Uh, so you can RSVP to Cheryl Jeffers at 513-701-3141. Everyone's invited. There's no cost involved. It's very relaxed. Uh, we're just there to answer your questions and concerns. Right. And I know that um, uh, I know Monica's going to be there as as well as uh, Kim Beach with Village Insurance and myself, Larry Pete with KBC Remodeling. Jackie Denny is going to be there. Bring something that you think might be of value. And and if you do that, uh, Jackie Denny will definitely help you with that. So um, we got about 30 seconds left. Is there one other little point of interest that uh, you'd like to bring up about uh, Harvest Financial Advisors? 
I mean, we, we are a fee-only firm, which means that we act as fiduciaries for our clients. And so if you have any questions or you'd like to reach out to us, just call 513-779-3030. Right. You threw out that word portfolio, and that always goes, eh. <laughs> My portfolio it's not scary. is all over the. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> You're not doing uh, finance. Uh, well, you do do personal financial investment uh, advice. Right. We manage portfolios and we also develop plans to make sure that your money will last in retirement, no matter what the market. That's important. At you. That, yeah. That's really important. Five one three seven seven nine thirty thirty. Stay tuned. Don't touch that dial. Next, we will continue with Rhea Davidson of the Dragonfly Foundation. You're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour on the uh, station for FC Cincinnati Soccer on WDJO 1480 AM, now FM 99 and 1079. Why rent when you can own with no money down? If you're looking to become a first-time homeowner in the Cincinnati or northern Kentucky areas, or heck, even if you haven't owned a home in the past three years and are now looking to buy. You may be eligible to receive up to $15,000 in homeowner's assistance towards closing costs, pre-closing expenses, or even your whole down payment. That's right. You can own your own home with no money down. Find out if you qualify. Call Gary at 513-777-2402. That's Gary at 513-777-2402. It was 50 years ago today. A tribute to the Beatles' White Album. Performing their greatest hits along with songs from the Beatles' White Album. Featuring Todd Rundgren. Hello. Christopher Cross, Mickey Dolenz of the Monkees, Jason Sheff from Chicago, and Joey Mullen of Badfinger. Performing some of their greatest hits, along with the songs from the Beatles' White Album. Sunday, December 1st at the Aeronaut, the live concert event you'll never forget. It was 50 years ago today. A tribute to the Beatles' White Album. Get reserved seats now at CincinnatiArts.org. Doverwood Village, conveniently located in Fairfield Township, features assisted living suites that allow maximum independence while receiving necessary assistance with daily activities. Doverwood Village's memory care provides a soothing environment with specially trained staff members to care for loved ones with Alzheimer's, dementia, and other challenges. Therapy and rehab at Doverwood Village delivers a high-tech, motivational environment to maximize progress and minimize recovery time during a short or long-term stay. And Doverwood Village Nursing Care Services are offered in a warm, loving environment where highly trained staff care like family, treating each individual with kindness and compassion. Learn more about Doverwood Village. Call Jane at 513-748-2683. That's 513-748-2683. Or visit hillendale.com. So Planet Fitness is only $10 a month. Pretty sweet. That's $10 a month to be in a thumbs up emoji place. Yes, I just said thumbs up emoji. It means that you're in the judgment free zone. That's $10 a month. Join in club or online at planetfitness.com. The world judges. We don't. Planet Fitness. Be free. Join today at any of our 18 Cincinnati area locations for only $10 a month. Annual membership fee applies. Participating locations only. See club for details. Find your way back to an old-fashioned Christmas at Cover Bridge Antique Mall. Here you'll find unique treasures of a time gone by, all lovingly collected and chosen to delight you. Start your Christmas shopping at their holiday open house and sale, November 15th through the 17th, with savings of 15 to 50% off throughout the store. Cover Bridge Antique Mall is located at 7508 Hamilton Avenue, one quarter mile north of the Ronald Reagan Highway, in the heart of Mount Healthy. There you'll find wonderful treasures from the past that'll make a fantastic present. Hey, you're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour, and my guests this morning have been we're, we're getting ready for the next talk, which will be this coming Tuesday at uh, the um, Triple Creek Retirement Community. So thank you, ladies, for coming down today. I appreciate that. You know, the Dragonfly Foundation supports pediatric cancer and families and patients by building a network that connects Dragonfly families to each other and the community, providing programs that enhance quality of life, enhancing programs and partner with Children's Hospital. And they just do a absolute miracle service. It, it, it's on. 
to, to see them in action just moves me. I, I get excited every time I get to see what they do. And I always look forward to having one of the co-founders come on my show on Saturday morning, and I just really thank you very much. This is my friend, Rhea Davidson. Good morning, Rhea. Oh, my gosh, Gary. <laughs> Oh, the crowd's you cheering you on. Me. I'm thinking you. Oh, my gosh. I'm thinking you. Uh, so, um, uh, Monica says, I'm, I'm not quite sure what the Dragonfly Foundation is. I mean, she's been so busy in <laughs> Westchester helping elders with their finances that I guess she hasn't tuned in too much. So, give us a brief uh, history and let us know exactly what you and the Dragonfly Foundation volunteers do. So we are a lifeline of support for patients ranging in age from birth to age 40 and their families as they go through cancer. Um, when you're admitted into the hospital right after diagnosis, a lot of times you don't know what to pack, you don't know what you need, you don't know what's going to happen, uh, and you don't know where to get support. And we're, we kind of fill all of those areas. So uh, you don't know what you need. We provide about $150 worth of items to newly diagnosed patients that make their stay more comfortable, that take away some of the stress points. Um, you don't know where to get support. We have a community of support, not just with people like Gary and, and, and all the other volunteers and supporters, but we connect families to each other so that they can have an understanding of what it's like. Uh, resources and connections. We really try to take away those times where those life logistics that make just every day hard to even move one foot in front of the other. Um, we try to minimize those pain points. So you name it, we do it. The only thing we don't do is pay bills. <laughs> yeah, right, and br- talking about paying bills, you have a lot of bills that you need to cover because the services you provide yeah. do not come free. So that's no. why you are a nonprofit organization. You work with the wonderful volunteers, the many, many, many volunteers that you have, and folks like myself and Jack Brindamore, and all the other folks that uh, reach out to bring you the resources so you can continue with uh, the services that you provide uh the dragonfly needs today and, and i just got a we package do. delivery yesterday i've got nine more bottles of uh of eye drops for you um oh yay awesome we need I those did, things i didn't think about that but you're, you're the patients are stuck in a hospital in in environmentally and the air is really dry yeah you know? and, and their eyes start uh, burning and itching and stuff. I never thought about yeah. that. Tied. And if they have to leave their patient to go get them, it makes life difficult. Right, exactly. So um, what other smaller um, community fundraisers are going on this week? That, uh, uh, And then we'll talk about the big one that's coming up in, in, uh, in is it February? Yes, our gal is February 22nd. We're doing Paint with a Purpose on November 9th, Paint with a Twist. Razors are going on this week, that, uh, and then we'll talk about the big one that's coming up in, in, uh, in is it February? Yes, our gal is February 22nd. We're doing Paint with a Purpose on November 9th, Paint with a Twist in Mason. I love those folks. Yeah, we love them, too. Sheree and, um, and, and we're doing and Whiskey and Watches with Richter and Phillips. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. I said uh, Sheree and Steve. Yes, love Sheree and Steve. Yeah. They've been really so supportive of us for quite a long time, many years. Well, Steve we have, is um, an original member of Blue Sun Ivory back in the 70s. That's right. Yeah. So. Yeah, so lots of great things. There's, you know, Please check out our event calendar. There's just so many things that we do. And that is at dragonfly.org. It's a beautiful website. Mm-hmm. And I love your... Um, you do a, a a blog every every week, mm-hmm. a podcast, a podcast, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> right? So, who will be on your podcast this coming week? Well, I have I still have to edit it. I've been a bit behind on my podcast, but we've got about seventeen, eighteen episodes now. So there's plenty to listen to, um, and new ones coming. So I've got three more that are just waiting for me to edit. Okay, so we've got the gala coming up in February. And that is on February the 22nd? 
Yep. And that's going to be our 10th mu- anniversary. It's going to be at Music Hall, your 10th anniversary. Oh, it's going to be huge. It so, is. so they can go to dragonfly.org and sign up, donate, uh, get all the information that you need to help out with that. If you want to help the Dragonfly Foundation right now, ladies and gentlemen, get out your smart device and text the word WINGS15 to 71777. A very secure website is going to open up, which will allow you to donate anywhere from 5000 down to $5. Whatever makes you feel good about what you're helping the Dragonfly Foundation out with. Uh, the next big thing coming up is your golf outing, which is always a huge success. And that'll also be out in Mason again this year? Yep, at the Heritage Club on May 11th. All right, May 11th. So February 22, put that on your calendar. And May 11th, put that on your calendar. Thank you, Rhea. Please. We love you a whole bunch. Um, I'll get those uh, eye drops and a few other things to you this week. Uh, we're just oh, if about. I can mention one, one other yes. thing. Carol Schilling, she's the bomb. Just like letting you know, she's awesome. Oh, I know she's she is. <laughs> she, she's a sweetheart. She's watching on on Facebook right now. So um, we're just about out of time for today. Thanks for a great show, and thank you all for listening. Uh, if you missed any of the shows, you can listen to them on the podcast at rockandcincy.com. Both the audio and video is on Facebook. If you have a real estate question or just want to know the value of your home, call me. I'm open for business. The Rock and Roll Realtor at rockandcincy.com, 513-777-2402. Don't forget to hug your kids, call your parents, and kiss your spouse every day. And tune in next week because Bob Pape with Polaris Home Funding Corp. will be my guest. Coming up next right here on WDJO is Wesley Adams and the Car Tech Show. To honor our veterans on Veterans Day, which is Monday, let's go out today with a patriotic song. This was written and recorded by Lee Greenwood, but this is a live recorded version by my band, Bluestone Ivory. God bless the USA. Do we live in here today? The flag still stands for freedom And they can't take that away And I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free Forget the men who died Who gave that right to me And I can't be stand up Next to you and defend her still today there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the USA From the lakes of Minnesota The hills of Tennessee Across the plains of Texas, from sea to shining sea, from Detroit down to Houston, and New York to L.A., where there's pride in every American heart, and it's time we stand and say. Seven seven.
877-247-2402 for your real estate needs. I want to help you. Here's a big thank you to my regular major sponsors who make this show possible as well as Remax Preferred Group. A special thanks to WDJO Station Manager Gary Stevens and my producer Dan Gettlefinger. Also a big thank you to my clients, friends, family, and fans of Loose and Ivory. Of course, Rhea Davidson with the Dragonfly Foundation and especially my wife Mary Jo. Until next week, keep on knocking on my rocking houses. So long for now. The preceding program was a paid program. Its views and opinions expressed are not necessarily those of this station or its management. This is the voice of the Buckeyes, Paul Keels. Hear all the action of Ohio State football right here on WDJO Cincinnati. What makes a smart buyer shop at Allgaier? Organization. Unlike junkyards where there are piles and piles of cars, Allgaier has a large warehouse, an indoor disassembly garage, and state-of-the-art software. Every item is scanned, tagged, and organized in a large clean.